is ready for this summer season I'm so excited and in today's video I'm going to show you some really good summer hacks that you can do with Dollar Tree items to give your house a summer vibe and also be a little bit more organized hello everyone and welcome to my channel DIY home and crafts my name is Jess and I'm so excited to have you here today and if you like home decor, DIYs, hacks and projects on a budget guys make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos and like I said in today's video I'm going to share with you some really good summer hacks that you can do to be a little bit more organized and also some really good DIYs and decor pieces that you can do to give your house that summer vibe I'm going to be using Dollar Tree items so these DIYs are going to be so inexpensive to do and so easy and I just hope that you can get some ideas and inspiration from this video and if you like it that big thumbs up it really helps to support this channel let me know in the comments which of these DIYs is one of your favorites I'm going to be reading all of your comments and hey you can follow me on all my social media pages it's DIY by Jazz I'm going to leave you all the links in the description box of this video and every single video but yeah I just hope that you are ready because I am let's DIY to together for this product you can check at the crafters square section for this wood container it comes in different shapes like an apple and a castle but I really like this pineapples because they are great now for summer so I take three of them and what I'm going to do is to stick these three um, pineapple containers together with hot glue you can use wooden glue just to make it so much stronger but um, I like the hot glue because it dries faster Once I stick all of these pineapple containers together, I decide to paint these. You can use any color you want, you can use a stain. I'm going to be using some wax in a thick color to paint these wood. And what I like to do is to add a little bit of water on the wax to make the color a little bit lighter. And it's going to be so much easier and faster to paint. Next, I'm going to dry everything with my heat tool that always works amazing. And you can find the link of that in the description box of this video I decide to use these pineapple containers to um, organize the plastic spoons and knives that I have and I like to use when I have parties or um, to go outside and make a barbecue you can identify that by making a small label I decide to use some scrabble letters that I get from Amazon I'm going to leave you the link of that in the description box I add the first letter on each pineapple container and then I just have to organize my utensils and put them where they go you maybe can add another pineapple to put straws or something like that I think it's so perfect when you have a party to keep your utensils organized in a cute way For this project, you can use these wood hanging decor pieces that you get at Dollar Tree. Um, but this time I decided to use these wood slices that I get from Amazon and they are so cool. You can do so many things with them. This time I'm going to be using them to make some coasters. So what I'm going to do is paint on them. I'm going to be using some paint in red color, white and green. And I'm going to paint some watermelons on these coasters. And guys, this is a super easy DIY that anyone can do and you can have so much fun and you can do this with your kids I'm going to be using first green to paint a thick line around the their wood slices and then I'm going to let that dry then I'm going to be doing the same with some white paint and in the center I'm going to be painting everything with a red color Now to make like the seeds of the watermelon, I'm going to be using a black sharpie and I'm going to make like five or six seeds on the center of this watermelon slice. And 
and again I'm going to be letting everything dry and because this is going to be um, a coaster I want these to have like a protective coat so I'm going to use some spray paint I'm going to spray this outside and then let it dry this is how this project turned out it's super easy so much fun anyone can do it I paint these by hand and each one of them are really unique and I love that and now I have the perfect summer coasters to put my cups For this next project, you can use your Cricut if you have it, or maybe you can use some letters from Dollar Tree or something that you can get um, at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Michaels. And I decided to make like a decal that says, hello, sunshine. And what I'm going to do is to make two projects with these decals. First, I'm going to use the decal that has the letters. Hope that makes sense. I'm going to put that on a transfer tape and I'm going to stick that on a piece of wood sign that I I have at home to make an easy and simple hello sunshine sign for my home decor you can add a tooth hanger on the back side to hang these on the wall and like I said this is a super easy DIY decor piece that you can do on a budget to decorate your home now for summer Okay, now I'm going to be working with the second part of this project. I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to add a transfer tape on top of this decal because now it's going to work as a stencil. And I'm going to stick this stencil on a mat that you can get at Dollar Tree. I got the one that has like bones and a dog designs, but the design doesn't actually matter because I'm going to be using only the back side of this mat because it has like one only one color is a neutral piece um, and it's going to work so much better with your project and what I'm going to do is to stick the stencil on the mat and then very careful I'm going to remove the transfer tape that has um, to be able to work with my stencil and add some paint I'm going to use like a yellow color on the hello word and I'm going to be painting that this is Waverly shock paint and I really like it because it covers well with only one coat of paint and it dries so quickly for the sunshine word I'm going to be using like like an orange color that I like it's also from the Waverly shock paint brand and I'm going to be painting that word and then I'm going to let everything dry as well Once everything is completely dry, I'm going to be removing the stencil from my mat and that's it. This is a super easy DIY that anyone can do. It's so much fun and it's going to look perfect on your front door. It's going to give it that summer vibe and it's going to save you some money because this mat only cost me $1.25 from Dollar Tree. For this next project, you can use any um, wreath that you have at home. I'm going to be using this super big one that I always use for my front door. It's like a grapevine wreath that I get from a thrift store. And I'm going to be decorating and making these the perfect touch now for summer for my front door. I'm going to add this home sign that I have that I DIY with a piece of wood and the home sign is from Dollar Tree. Now it has like a heart shape at the end. I want to cover that with a lemon that I DIY last year for summer so I'm going to stick that with hot glue. I like to decorate my wreaths super simple but in a cute way. I like to put a lot of greenery so I'm going to be doing that and what I like about the gray vines wreath is that they are super easy to stick um, like the stems of the flowers or the greenery um, without having to stick them with hot glue so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to put some really cute and big leaves on each side to give it a really nice summery touch mm -hmm. 
like you see I'm going to be using lemons to decorate my wreath so I'm gonna get two packages of these lemons that you can get at Dollar Tree and to be able to stick them on my wreath without any glue I'm going to stick a stem on them with some leaves so that their wreath can look a little bit more like fuller with different types of leaves and I'm going to put them where all the greenery is and yeah that's it this is how this project turned out I love 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 how this wreath turned out you can put this wreath outside on your front door or maybe you can put this inside maybe on the top of the fireplace or something like that I don't know you can be so creative with this and I hope that you like this idea this next project I'm going to be using one of these pot belly vase that you can get from Dollar Tree or maybe any vase that you have at home and you also need some raffia and I got this one I think it's new I got it from Dollar Tree and it comes with a lot of raffia so it is perfect for so many projects and what I'm going to be doing is like separate all of the raffia and I'm going to get one piece and I'm going to start gluing these on my vase now I'm going to leave a small space on the top with out raffia and I'm going to start gluing small pieces or like strips of raffia in, in a diagonal direction. And they're going to look like a little bit turned from one side to the other once I have that step ready I'm going to be doing the same but I'm going to stick the other pieces of raffia looking to the other direction hope that makes sense they're going to look like so many X's on my vase Okay, once I stick everything with my hot glue, this is how my um, base is going to look. And next I'm going to be using some more raffia. I'm going to get a few pieces. I'm going to stick them on one side with hot glue and I'm going to start making a braid. I want to make like a really long piece of braid to be able to use it for all my base. Now that I have my braid ready, I'm going to stick this um, braid on the top of the vase where all of those raffia pieces are. And this is going to cover all of the mess with the glue that you maybe are going to have. Once I stick the first piece of braid on the top, I'm going to be doing the same but on the bottom of the vase. And this is going to work perfect because it's going to cover all of the mess that you have with the glue. And from there, you want to do the same. You want to have a total of four pieces of braid stick on your vase. Um, but this is going to depend on the vase that you are using. Okay, once you're done with the base, this is how it's going to look and you can leave it like that, of course, if you want, but I want to make like a pitcher base. So for that, I'm going to be using a small piece of rope, of nautical rope, and you are also going to need some wire. And what you want to do is to cover the whole rope with the wire to um, be able to do like any shape that you want on your rope. Of course, I need to cover these and for that I'm going to be using some more raffia. I'm just going to get a few pieces and I'm going to add some hot glue and I'm going to cover um, this whole piece with the raffia. Yeah. 
once your whole piece is covered with raffia this is how it's going to look and it's so cool because you can do so many shapes because of the wire that you added to your rope now it's time to stick this on your vase and I'm just going to stick one side on the top and the other one on the bottom to be able to form a handle for my picture Okay guys, once I was done, this is how my project turned out. It was so easy to make, it doesn't take me so long to do it and I think it looks amazing. This is a very trending piece that I saw on Pinterest and in so many web pages and I made a dupe with Dollar Tree items and I think it looks amazing and with a high-end look. So I, I really hope that you can get some ideas and inspiration from these DIYs and that you create your own DIYs and projects to decorate your home on a budget. If you like this video, please give me that big thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel and let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites. I'm going to be reading all of your comments and make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos. Thank you so much for the love and support. Remember that you can also follow me on my social media pages all of the links are always in the description box of this video thank you thank you so much for the love and support and see you on my next one Mwah. bye guys